Building in the Deep, 5, Feats of Underwater Engineering Giving new meaning to under the sea, these structures are designed to not only survive underwater but to thrive there. Before that make sure you subscribe Gideon Films Top 5 and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. 5. Itha Undersea Restaurant, Maldives Seafood takes on new meaning at Rangeli Island's underwater restaurant, a 14-seat eatery located 16 feet below the water's surface. The boat size structure is encased in a transparent acrylic tunnel offering 270 degree exterior views, so it's almost like dining in a fish tank. Visitors descend into the restaurant via a spiral staircase that's located in a thatched pavilion at the end of a jetty. Itha was built in Singapore and then transported to the Maldives, where workers situated the 175-ton structure on the sea floor by filling it with 85 tons of sand ballast. They then attached the restaurant to four steel piles, each of which had been vibrohammered approximately 15 feet into the seabed, with concrete. Four, Aquarius Reef Base, Florida Keys. Underwater research laboratories, more popular in the 1960s and 70s, have gone out of style. Aquarius is the only one still operating. Owned by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, and operated by the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, Aquarius is an 80-ton cylindrical chamber located 63 feet underwater and 3 minus a half miles offshore. It's attached to a 116-ton base plate for stability. The laboratory is divided into a live and work area, main lock, and an entry lock that contains a bathroom, electrical panels, and communications and life support systems. These two parts are then connected by an airlock. Aquarius also has a wet porch that offers entry to the sea through a moon pool, which keeps the chamber at ambient pressure the same pressure as the water outside. This overall design lets workers return to the surface without having to use a decompression chamber. Jules Undersea Lodge, Key Largo, FLA What began in the early 70s as La Chalupa Research Laboratory has been an undersea lodge for the past 30 years. Guests dive down to the submerged hotel and enter via a 5x7 foot moon pool at the bottom of the structure, 21 feet below the sea's surface. Compressed air keeps the lodge from flooding. Despite the lodge's lack of above-water entry you don't have to be a certified diver to stay overnight. While non-certified divers once descended to the lodge by breathing air pumped through a large hose, Jules now offers a three-hour course to assure safe entry. Two, BioSUB, Australia. Though built as a temporary structure, BioSUB helped show the world what it's like to live underwater. In 2007, Australian marine biologist Lloyd Godson spent nearly two weeks in the 10-foot-long yellow steel box, 15 feet beneath the surface of a lake. Biosub's energy came from a mix of onshore solar panels and Godson's pedal power. Oxygen came via an on-site algae garden housed in a biocoil. It's a coiled plastic tube that acts as a gas exchange system and runs on carbon dioxide, light, and water in this case, Godson's own urine. Before we go to number 1, make sure you subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. 1. Cancun Underwater Museum, Musa, Mexico Opened to the public in November 2009, the Cancun Underwater Museum features more than 400 life-size sculptures sitting on the seafloor in 28 feet of water. 
It's a museum without walls, and each work of art is made from pH-neutral clay that encourages the growth of corals and attracts sea life so the sculptures will grow and change over time. Artist Jason DeKayers Taylor plans to add 63 new pieces to the museum this July, including a kinetic sculpture boasting wings made of living fan coral and the listener, which features an underwater device that projects nearby sounds. Musa is accessible to divers and snorkelers. If you like this video give a thumbs up and a comment below and please don't forget to subscribe our channel.